pink what is referred to as the thin spaces and that's when this mask of the everyday and the ordinary routine is lifted and you have this sense of awareness of uh, something larger than yourself. Thin space is an ancient Celtic term and it's used to describe a glimpse of the divine and this shift of awareness and we've all had them. I think everybody has them at some point. It's these moments when you actually touch the mysterious. You know, as an artist, you absorb so much of what's around you. You know, I don't think that you actually choose your influences. It, your influences choose you. Uh, I lived a lot of places growing up. I was actually born in Italy and in those pivotal grade school years, uh, moved to Hawaii. And I can see all those influences now come out in my work. I can kind of see it come together in this poetic vision in my mind's eye. You know, uh, when I go to Europe and I step into the Gothic cathedrals, there's almost this uh, mystical energy to them, almost as if you can feel all the people that have passed through them for centuries. Um, I love the uh, dark, moody, dusky interiors and the way the light comes in through the stained glass. And, and you know, in Hawaii, when I was growing up, I was also drawn to these shady places. I remember the shadows being purple, dark blue, these inky colors right next to these gorgeous, vivid blooms. And all that just had a huge sensory effect on me. The ease um, which all this vegetation and these beautiful blooms grew, you know, it's effortless. And this type of beauty is just drama at its finest. E.E. E. Cummings wrote, Around me surges the miracle of unceasing, birth and glory and death and resurrection. And what I want to create in my work is a sense of creation. And I, that to me shows up as a form of movement. And this motion, always in motion. Uh, it's this continuous cycle. It's the miracle of unceasing. When I paint, I want the work to be bold, but still have a sense of ease to it. I love the gestural abstraction uh, of painting on a large canvas. You know, I love not getting caught up in the minutia, but still being able to capture a sense of intimacy in the work. An artist's job is to remain awake and to keep others awake so they don't sleep through this glorious fast life.